kwenye njua au unapaka pata kabikwa. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Ebola bola nyimbula. He was a rich man. According to the Bible, he was a rich man. Seconds was a rich man. Hallelujah. Very rich. And also hold position. He hold position in the society. He's a chief tax collector. Kemba leko is CEO of Ira. Nando kumuna na ibagadaba daba. Hallelujah. But there was a lifestyle that he lived. He want to break away from that. He can't. You cannot break away from the lifestyle that you're drinking, that you're smoking, that you're committing adultery, fornication. You can't break away with your strength. You need the power of the anointed. The anointed preaching. The anointed sharing. And that anointing, when you accept Jesus Christ, that anointing will come and cut loose. All the bondage that you are experiencing. And sometimes you hide it so well. Hmm? Jesus came and saw him. Jesus said, Seconds, come down. Jesus said, today I must stay in your home. Seconds receive him joyfully. People complain. Seconds is a sinner. Hallelujah. People complain when you change. People complain when you leave cover. When you leave uh, beer. When you leave uh, smoking. People complain. They want you to be the same all the time. Committing adultery all the time. Hallelujah. Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. All false accusation I will restore for fourfold. When you walk with God, I tell you, my friend, you are walking in freedom. Hallelujah. I remember it's about, uh, this is the 20th year of preaching. 20th year of preaching. Some of you that you are watching today, you are, you are not even born in 2002. 20 years of preaching and I feel uh, we as a family when we sit together, when we share together, we start to see the power, the anointing of God. And I must thank my family. Today I must thank my family. Every time the supportive role from Radini, the supportive role from our children. Hallelujah. The supportive role of standing together and walking together, bickering and slandering in a bakalileo and a dusi, second in Doraka. We walk from level to level, from level to level, the power to power, the glory to glory, the blessing to blessing, the blessing to blessing. Not from our work, but from the word of God. Why? He'll set us free. He'll set us free from the the things that we used to do before, going to church and come back, going to church and come back. 52 times in a year. If you go to church only on Sunday. If you go to church also on Wednesday, or maybe on Monday, or maybe another day, then 52 times 2 or times 3. Hallelujah. But until and unless that Jesus Christ becomes your Lord and your Savior. Oh, hallelujah. The King of... Everyone, the king of everybody, the king of everything. Hebrew chapter 1, the Bible says, He is the heir to everything. He is the creator to everything. He is the authority of everything. And his name is Jesus. And Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says, And he support every creation by the power of his word. Hallelujah. My friend, if you are committing sin today, receive the word of God and you will set, set free. Sana sekata ni wapangaratu kwa netabili. Sana sekata ni wapangaratu kwa nayombo. Sana sekata ni wapangaratu kwa nawebubu, nawebuso. Ndwe, ndwe badalaka, mateni. Ndwe zonga, mateni. Out of control, matuka, mateni. Kabaro matamubale, mateni. Mateni, 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 mateni. Get away from drunkenness. Because he's killing the family. He's killing the young people. We are raising broken people. We are raising up a generation of brokenness and rejection. Hallelujah. And today, I'm a voice of God to someone that you must treasure the life that God gives you. Leadership in the county, leadership in our nation, leadership in the government, leadership in the Banua, leadership in churches. We must know the truth. We must spread the truth because the truth will set us free. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So, when I talk about, number one, the gospel is for the